Hi everyone, the Spider-Man here. I hope everybody's doing okay. So guys, as the title says, I'm going to be feeding some of my inverts today. And I went to my local pet shop and bought a box of large black crickets. But to be fair, they're all different kind of sizes, which is perfectly fine. But before I feed my inverts, I am going to sort out the crickets first. So I have some bug grub there and I have an empty cricket container. So I'll put some bug grub at the bottom of this cricket container, transfer all the crickets into this one here, and pick out all the dead ones. So guys, let's just move this box of crickets to one side, and get this cricket tub here, and let's put the bug grub in at the bottom. That should be okay. And just quickly grab the cardboard out of the cricket tub, put these inside, and watch they all don't jump out. And I've got all the spare ones here, so I'll pick all the dead ones out and put them in the uh, new tub. So guys, with all the dead ones removed, let's just lift this lid up and let them all just walk inside there clean home. Uh, let's just get them other them last few just there. So now all the crickets have been sorted out guys let's start feeding some inverts. So guys I am going to start off with my two linothoid megatholoides so here goes. And there we go. Well, that didn't take long, guys. And as you know, these two spiders here recently molted around about a week ago. So I knew they'd be definitely hungry. So it looks like that one has grabbed its meal perfectly fine. So let's feed the other one. So, guys, here is the second one. And I hope you enjoyed that slow motion there. I haven't done a slow mo for a while. So yeah, this is a fairly big male for this uh, Linothoid Megatholoides, but uh, should have no problems taking it down and eating it, as you can see. So yeah, first two inverts fed. And let's go on to the next one. Next up is my Sopopius Amernia female. And as you know, I'm feeding her up because I'm going to be pairing up the male with her this week, so here goes. And she did get her male guys, and uh, she's starting with the happy dance, so she should definitely enjoy that. And let's go on to the next one. Next up, guys, is my female huntsman. Looks like, guys, that she's having a little bit of a clean before she grabs her meal. And you can see them fangs. They do look huge, but uh, I assure you they're actually not. And there we go, guys. Got there at last. I had to... Um, Tongue feed it. I've been sitting here for about uh, 20 minutes trying to get uh, some clear footage for you guys. Or just waiting for the spider to attack its meal. But yeah, finally got there in the end. Took a, a little bit of time, but uh, oh, I don't mind. So let's go on to the next one. So guys, next up is my Anitha Sex Maculata, my Egyptian predatory beetle. Here it goes. I'll be surprised if uh, it isn't hungry. There we go. So 
So I thought I'd take a closer look. I always like to uh, zoom in and get a bit more detail. I haven't fed this beetle for about 10 days or so, so I had a little feeling it was going to be hungry anyway. And I, as I always say, I don't like to overfeed my inverts, and it's going straight for the head. A little bit gruesome, but uh, this is what happen, happens in the wild. And I will, um, I will get some more of these beetles. Uh, my next show won't be till next year, my next expo. Uh, it'll be at the British Tarantula Show. So guys, I hope you enjoyed that little bit of music there. So I'm going to leave this beetle alone now to finish off its meal. And let's go on to the next one. Next up everyone is my Pocletheria rufolata, the red slide ornamental. And there we go. <laughs> that was a uh, quick take down. Let's just zoom in a bit more. Focus, thank you. And there is he or she. Personally, I think it's a male. And uh, I've had around about two or three of these in the past. And I have never had a female. They've always turned out to be male. And there he goes with the happy dance. And you can see that uh, cyst that he's got on his abdomen. Uh, I thought it might have disappeared after his molt, but unfortunately it hasn't. So, um, as all tarantulas do. They're doing the happy dance. So yeah, I think I'll uh, leave him alone to enjoy his meal. And let's go on to the next one. So everyone, to finish off this video, I've decided I'm going to feed one of my scorpions. So in this enclosure here is my Israeli large clawed scorpion. Let's just take the hide away. 
And there it is just there. Beautiful little scorpion with very large claws and a small tail. And it always goes a little bit nuts when I take its hide out the way. So let's get a large black cricket and let's see if it's hungry. Here goes everyone. Oh, it was definitely hungry. <laughs> oh, another sting. Another sting, guys. Third sting. And there you go, look. He or she started to eat its meal already. Goes straight for the head. So ladies and gentlemen, the scorpion has walked away from its meal. I'm not too sure why. So if I just put the meal in the middle of the enclosure, put the hide back in, and it can eat its meal in the dark and in peace and quiet. So I hope you enjoyed this video everybody. And thanks for watching everyone.